Good afternoon, everyone. Now I'm on my back porch. I was on my front porch the other day, back porch today. It's very hot outside. I don't know actually the temperature. Pretty hot. I like hot, but I don't like it when the house is hot because it gets all musty and the air is not moving. But normally I like this kind of weather. As long as I'm outside, like I said, it's hard in the house. Today I want to talk about declaring a thing, decreeing a thing. In the Bible, if you recall, I have instances, Jesus would declare something and it would be. And that's because he believed his word. And we need to believe our word. Then we need to declare something it is. So it would decree a thing. You like it sets it into law by someone who has authority. And as Christians, if you're a Christian, you walk under Jesus' authority. It's his authority. You walk under it. You walk in the covenant he made with God. You're in that covenant. Now I have Asher barking in the background because I locked him in the house because he wants to sit in my lap while I do this. So in Psalms 119, verse 89, it says, Forever, O Lord, your word is settled in heaven. Your faithfulness endures to all generations. So whatever the Lord said, remember this. Remember in, in Genesis one one. He's, uh, in Genesis one, he says, "Light be," and light showed up. That's the way it's supposed to happen with us. So let's look at a couple of places where Jesus did this. All right. Also, let's go to Mark sixteen. I mean, Mark eleven first, and I'll show you. Where Jesus says to do this, all right? Get to Mark 11. So in Mark 11, Mark 11, 22, it says, "Have faith in God." 23, it says, "For assuredly I say unto you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed." and be cast into the sea, and doubts not in his heart, but believes that those things he says will come to pass, the things he says will be done for him. Now this version, I'm not sure what version I'm looking at. Hang on. The Spirit, New Spirit Filled Life Bible, it's a King, New King James Version. So what he says here is, have faith in God. If you ask anything, it will be done unto you. You will have what you say. That's in Mark 11. That's like the, the main thing for the Word of Faith movement is that scripture. That they say they think Kenneth Hagin wrote that scripture. Anyway, so think about it. Have faith in God. So he who believes what he says will come to pass, he will have what he says, okay? And Jesus operated this way. And I'm going to prove you that he operated this way. And God also operated this way because when he said, light be, light became. It manifested. And this happens in all the Gospels where Jesus says, go your way and you'll be whole or whatever. He speaks it and it happens. And we talked about this in church on Sunday. And I've done this all my life, but I've been wishy-washy. So the thing is, you've got to know that you believe what you're saying. you got to believe what you're saying. you got to believe your word. And you don't speak any words out of your mouth that are contrary to the word of God ever. So that's why you know the word. You're supposed to know the word of God. You meditate in the law of the Lord day and night. You know the word. And then you won't speak against it. Okay? Let's look at Matthew. Oh. And Proverbs, let's see, 1821, it says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit. If you speak death, you receive death. If you speak life, you receive life. You remember in Deuteronomy, it says, Now I sit before you today, blessing and cursing, life and death, choose life. So you choose life. You choose life with the words you say. You choose life with the things you do. 
You don't you don't do things according to death. You don't do things you don't speak according to death. You don't say I'm sick. I'm whatever. You don't, you don't say those things. You say you speak things that you want to happen. You speak always things that you want to happen. But let's go and look at Matthew, the centurion. Okay. It says, Now when Jesus had entered Capernaum, a centurion came to him pleading with him, saying, Lord, my servant is lying at home paralyzed, dreadfully tormented. And Jesus said unto him, I will come and heal him. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof, but only speak a word and my servant will be healed. Now, let's see if he'll say it. For I am also a man of their authority, having soldiers unto me. And I say unto this one, go, and he goes, and to another, come, and he comes, and to my servant, do this, and he does it. Now there, that's how it works. Do you hear that? The centurion says, I am a man of authority. I tell a person to go, and he goes. I tell a person to come, and he comes. I tell a person to do this, and he does it. This is how the kingdom of God works. So we are speaking to things like... I tell this weather to stop raining or to start raining and it does it because number one I'm a son of God and creation is, is under me. Number two angels go at my command. If I start speaking things into being because I'm a son of God the angels obey and go and make it happen. If I talk to sickness and tell it to go it has to go. Because I'm a man under authority. I'm under the authority of Jesus. And it has to go. There are many other instances in the Bible. I have the whole list. I'll probably give it to you. Where Jesus just said, go. Made it, make it go. He talked to the lepers and said, go show yourself to the priest. He didn't touch them or nothing. He said, go show yourself to the priest that you're clean, that you're healed. In these instances, things just happen. I'm going to give them to you. I'll write them down somewhere. These things happen. So you must know that Jesus operated this way. He spoke to the wind and said, be still, and it was still. This is what we do, and we even do greater things. I don't want to rant anymore. I bless you in Jesus' name. I speak life and wholeness to you from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. You will see the goodness of God in the land of the living. All sickness leave your body from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Peace come on your mind in Jesus' name. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against you, you shall condemn in judgment. For this is your heritage as a servant of the Lord, and your righteousness is of the Lord. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time.